All right, here's a quick rundown on how to operate a cannon in War of Rights. First things first, once you spawn in, you need to swab the barrel. And then after that, you go grab your choice of, sh of shell. And there's about three types of shell. There's normal shell, which is solid shots. Case, which is high explosive HE rounds. And canister, which basically is a big old shotgun round. Uh, these ranges are, some are somewhat accurate. I don't know, I don't pay attention to them. Uh, all I do is just eyeball it, and that works out most of the time. So I have shell in here, so solid shot. So, you go to the side of the barrel like this, and only on this side, uh, to load it in. And from this side is the same side that you swabbed in, and is also the same side you just gotta ram it down. Oh, and also the key to interact is F, just in case you guys don't know that. And get on, and and you can get on the about mm, five positions. Uh, you can get on both of the wheels, and on the turn spike back here as well as the elevation and you can move and it will move the uh, artillery piece very fast on average like most most people you just see uh, one person on each wheel and roll it but if, if someone's on the turn spike uh, the artillery battery will roll much faster and so and even and even faster if someone's on the elevation now hear about aiming you gotta hold the D key to move, uh, sorry, the A key to move it right. And then move the D key to move it left. Well, right now I'm just holding, I'm um, pressing both simultaneously, well, one after the other. And to move it faster, you hold shift. And to move the cannon faster, you also gotta hold shift as well. So you hold and shift while, while you hold and shift and you press A. You turn, rotate faster to the right. We're gonna be trying to hit that artillery. We're gonna hit that target in front of us. And same thing applies for uh, uh, raising the elevation and lowering the elevation for this. You, you can move it a lot faster by holding shift like this and like this. That's with shift. This is without shift. Most of the time, if you want to, uh, you want to try, at least for, for this parrot gun, for this kind of gun right here, you want to try to aim for the tip to at least be at the, the tip of the needle to be kind of at their legs or at their feet to be able to, to be able to hit a good shot, uh, a good landing shot on the ground. And that's like or case and shell. Now, oh, and also a quick tip: uh, with page up and page down, you can adjust the fuse time. So you can bring it all the way down, so you can try to go for an air burst, or you can bring it all like you can go if you hold like page up, you will be raising the fuse time. And let's see how far we can go with it. Oh, it goes faster if you hold shift. That's something I just learned. Alright, you can go for a whole 20 seconds. The fuse time. So that's when, it, when it's fired. After 20 seconds after it's fired, it will explode. Now, let's go for the shot and see if we hit the target. Well, we aimed for, well, we aimed for their legs. So I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it that. So that's pretty well, pretty good. If I if if I was to aim higher, I would have hit the middle of the target, I believe. There it goes after 20 seconds. All right, now. Now let's try to uh, get, uh, see this in game. All right, quick to the bit. This is this is what a this round looks like. 
when it explodes. Right now, I just fired it at the base of that tree. Hopefully, it did land. I don't think it landed. It might have went to space. Or it was ghost. And that's what case looks like.